Hi, welcome to Salesforce Tech Book. Our topic is Agent Force Employee Agent. The topics we are going to cover today is what is Agent Force Employee Agent, how to configure Agent Force Employee Agent, and how to create and assign permission set to the user. What is Agent Force Employee Agent? An Agent Force Employee Agent is a generative AI assistant in Salesforce. It helps employees work faster and smarter. It can perform tasks like creating records, updating records, it retrieves information and it suggests next steps using AI. We can create different employee agents for different roles based on their needs. Now we will see how to configure employee agent practically. Let's go to our arc. To configure employee agent in quick find search for agents. Click on Agent Force Agents. Click on New Agent. Select Agent Force Employee Agent. Click on Next. If we want, we can add this topic. I'm removing this topic. Click on Next. Give the name of the agent. I'm giving Agent Force Employee Agent for service. Do the company. Enable this checkbox. Click on Next. Here, if we want to enable Data Cloud, we have to enable Data Cloud. For now, I'm not enabling Data Cloud. Click on Create. Uh, this is the agent force builder for employee agent here i uh, will configure the topics and actions uh, now i'm adding standard topic to add the topic click on new click on add from asset library i'm adding case management topic click on finish now the topic is added under this topic, we have different actions. These are the actions under this topic. If we want to get the case details by case number, we can uh, get the case details. We will check whether it is providing the case uh, details based on the case number or not. Click on activate. Next one is uh, we have to create permission set and we will add this employee agent to the permission set and then we will assign this uh, permission set to the user who need access to the employee agent so first we have to create permission set to create permission set go to setup in quick find search for permission sets click on permission sets click on new Give the permission set name. I'm giving employee agent for service. Click on save. Now we will add the employee agent to the permission set. To add the employee agent, click on agent access. Click on edit. Our agent name is agent force employee agent for service. So select this and click on add. Click on save. Next, I want to access this employee agent. So I want to assign this permission set to my user. To add this permission set to my user, click on manage assignments. Click on add assignment. And I'm selecting my user. Click on next. Click on assign. Click on done. Now the permission set is assigned to my user. Now we will check how this employee agent works. Go to sales app. 
refresh this page. Click on this age and force symbol. Click on this drop down. Here I have created age and force employee age and for sales previously. Now I have created age and force employee age and for service. So I am selecting age and force employee age and for service. Click on select. Here I am asking to provide case details. For Okay, view the case number. It is providing the case details because we have configured the topic related to case. In another agent that is sales agent, I have configured the topic related to lead. So I am selecting that agent. And I'm asking to create lead. It is asking to provide first name. Last name. Email ID. organization name. now the lead is created with these details so go to leads refresh the page once click on all open leads This is the lead we have created just now. This is how we can create different agent force employee agents and we will assign these agents to different users based upon their roles. If we want to assign the uh, service employee agent for service to service team, we can assign. If we want to assign the agent force uh, employee agent for sales to sales team, we can assign. This is how we can configure the agent force employee agent. This is the reference links. Uh, please go through this link. Please subscribe to Salesforce Tech Book. Thank you.